Let's read this book, Swashby and the Sea. This book is by written by Beth Ferry and Juana Martinez Neal drew the pictures in this story. There's old Swashby next to his boat. Captain Swashby loved the sea. The sea and he had been friends for a long, long time. She knew him in and out, up and down, and better than anyone. So when Swashby retired, it was to a small house on a small beach, as close to the sea as he could be. Whenever he needed something, the sea provided exactly the right thing at exactly the right time. Life was just the way Swatchby liked it. Salty and sandy and serene. Until squeal, squeaks and squeals sprung from the empty house next door, which was no longer empty. It had been commandeered by a girl and her granny who planted umbrellas scattered beach chairs, and boarded Swashby's deck without permission. Swashby battened down the hatches, hid when the doorbell rang, and fed their oatmeal cookies to the gulls. He didn't need neighbors. He didn't want neighbors. Neighbors were noisy, a nuisance, annoying. So in return, he left a message written clearly in the sand, no trespassing which the sea filled with just a little bit. Look, it washed out part of the words, and now it says sing. Sing, the girl read, and did just that. She sang every song she knew while dancing up and down Swashby's deck. What now, she asked. Now vanish, Swashby wrote later that evening, adding a starfish exclamation point. And the sea fiddled just a little bit. So now it says, whoosh, the little girl read, picking up the starfish and did just that. She closed her eyes and began, I wish. No, no, Swashby interrupted, stomping down the steps. If you mean to make a starfish wish, you must say this, starfish back to the wave so blue, the sea will see a wish come true. How lovely, Granny said. We wish you'd come for a cup of tea, Mr. Swashby. But Swashby wished to be left alone, so he grumbled and mumbled and hurried inside. He didn't want tea. He, oh, he didn't need tea. He didn't want tea. Tea was civilized, friendly, and neighborly. What he needed was a new message. Please go away, he wrote firmly in the sand. And once again, the sea fiddled just a little. Let's see what it says now. Play, the girl sounded out and did just that with Swashby's shells and stones, with his buckets and shovels. But her towers kept falling. Barnacle bottom, Swashby muttered, marching out. You're doing it all wrong. You must not use the sunbaked sand. It's the sea sand that does the trick. And he showed her how to dig for the wet sand below. Thank, but Swashby was gone. Oh, <laughs> look, it's beautiful. Before long, amazing sculpture decorated the beach. It's the clam shells you should be using, Swashby called from inside. Come play, Mr. Swashby, the girl called back. Swashbees don't play, he answered, banging the shutters. So the sea decided to meddle just a little more than more than just a little. She inched her way up the sand and tickled the girl's toes. She nibbled on the sculptures and slurped away the bucket. The girl tried to grab it, but look at me, the girl called. Oh, look at her, Granny Yas. Oh, dear, look at her. Granny hurried to the water's edge, but 
swashby was already there. Look at him diving in the waves. What are you up to, you great salty imp? He asked, scooping up the girl and the bucket. With a great big wave, the sea delivered the pair back to shore. And there was no stopping the laughing and thanking and hugging that Swashby's reward. I see what you did, he whispered to the sea as he was whisked away to celebrate. After that, it was easy for Swashby to have tea with the girl and her granny and ice cream and lobster and s'mores on the beach. It was easy for him to share his special sea glass. It was even easy for him to see that neighbors could be fun and friends and family. And when he had a moment to himself, Swashby carved a heartfelt message for the sea. It says, thank you, friend which the sea fiddled with just a little bit. <laughs> and it says, the end. <laughs> I think that's for our benefit. That Swashby, he was rather a cantankerous old guy, but that sea meddled just a little bit. And as a result, he made a new friend, didn't he? <laughs>